So in today's video, we'll be covering the total concepts of what is this test ng. What is this test ng? What are the different features provided by test ng? How well we can use test ng, etc. So before we go with test ng, we know that developers do unique testing. Before they give a deployment to QA, they will check whether the code that they have written is covering all the functionalities and maybe there uh, there are no any null pointer exceptions uh, or out of bound exceptions anything etc they check do unit testing and give us so how do they do this unit testing how do they cover that they use a certain framework which can help them to decide that particular functionality at the basic level at the unit level is working fine so mostly people use the developers and they use j unit for us, as automation engineers, 95% in the market, the world of automation, if they are going with open source with Java, they go with test ng compared to J unit. So what uh, is this test ng? Test ng is the testing framework. So we write manual test cases every time, right? Uh, we say test case title, test case description, precondition, summary, test steps, then expected result, actual result, etc. Right? So, how would we define those test cases, same test cases as the automation test cases? So, to do that, testng comes up with some annotations. In the previous videos if you would have seen I have been using at the rate test at the rate test at the rate test every time I have been using at the rate test why I was using at the rate test at the rate test will convert the method that is written below that at the rate test annotation to a test case a automation test case so we should we can use this particular at the rate test annotation to make a particular method as a test case else people if you can't if you are not using any framework then you have to run your selenium test cases as java based classes run as java rather than run as test ng if you are going to do that it would be a difficult task because for each functionality you need to write a separate class for example, if you have written 10 methods within a class and you are not using test ng, what happens? If one method fails automatically, the next methods will skip and it will not run the program. So, if you are using test ng, you can give each test case as a test annotation and if one particular test case fail, it will not affect the other test cases it will uh, fail the that particular test case and it will continue with other test cases okay so there are some annotations that are provided by selenium in order to give as a better flexibility to run test cases and etc so let's see over here let's start with that so I'm trying to create a new class. So class name I give it as test ng itself. So test ng. So first of all I'll write public web driver driver. import that from selenium so after that let me write public test ng a constructor and define the browser driver equal to new firefox browser so once the browser is done so start learning the annotations so the first annotation so before i go about the annotations as well i'll show you the website of test 
testng.org this is the website of testng and let's read some things about testng what is this testng what i spoke and what is there here testng is a testing framework inspired from j unit and n unit but introducing some new functionalities that make it more powerful and easier to use that means now maybe j unit and n unit are parent for testng but now it is a super set for j unit and testng so it contains annotations run your tests in arbitrarily big thread pools with various policies available that is it can support multi threading concept that means that you can run multiple test cases at a time so test that your code is multi threaded safe along with this it will also take care of threading threading safe support for data driven testing in general we may not use data driven testing that is provided by testng in general in selenium automation world we use excel sheet or properties file to go with that data driven but selenium provides that at the rate data provider you can define one excel file in that xml file you can define the data and at the rate data provider you define the tags defined for that particular in the xml file and that will get the data from there so for parameters uh so parameters is like a, uh, passing the data once again in the form of a parameter powerful execution model so powerful execution model that is nothing but uh, we can run individual test cases we can run group of test cases we can run uh, a group of classes etc supports for multiple ides like eclipse idea maven etc it it requires java so in documentation if you go in the welcome we have read so the same thing he refers testing is a testing framework designed to simply a broad range of testing needs for unit testing especially people use for unit testing but in selenium use for automation so some of the annotations they have defined here if you see these are all the annotations that selenium uses see these are all the annotations so in these annotations we are going to learn, learn some annotations so let me start with at the rate before suit so what am i doing public test ng driver is equal to new firefox driver i am writing right as i said the constructor is the first thing that will be called so instead of this what i will do is at the rate before suit so public public initialize initialize browser initialize pardon me initialize browser initialize browser so this is the method name i am giving over here in order to but i should write void so here i'll write driver equal to new firefox driver once i'm going on writing right you will automatically understand what i am doing but let's just let me write then i'll explain you how these things are done over here so suggest so see after suit at the rate uh, before before suit and then uh, before test so here i'm going to use before test and i'm going to show you all the things for blake void public void invoke url so driver dot get i am trying to invoke one url over here 
that I'll go with again the deal for loans website. So I'll invoke the home URL rather than the apply home loan URL. So just see what am I doing over here. So just the naming conventions itself says us that we are trying to do something before suit before suit is nothing but before anything is happening within test ng first execute this method that is written below before test that is before at the rate test any at the rate test before execution is happening execute this at the rate before test so just see what am i doing after this i will write one at the rate test annotation from test ng public void uh, simple prg i am telling it is a simple program any method name i don't need to give any specific naming conventions but when we create a new project and we are working for a company yes we need to give a standard method naming conventions else no company will accept code that we have written so what am i doing i am trying to enter some text into the text box so i am going to use driver dot find element by dot x path so within x path i am going to pardon me it's not x path it's going to be id so i am placing the value here at the end dot send keys and in send keys i am putting some a so just see what am i doing now so at the rate before so that is at a before any thing happen from test ng please initialize the browser that is firefox browser after that before test any test is executed please invoke the url after that at the rate test i am trying to run one test case so after this i'll go with at the rate after after suit after method after groups after class they're all there but i'll go with for 